I've worked in Disneyland for five long years. Uh, I never thought the reason I quit was going to be because of something terrifying. You know? I mean, when you work in Disneyland, you ignore everything negative about the park. The dark rumors, you, you know, you put them aside and believe that they aren't real. When you see children crying or, or people scared, you ignore that because it happens often, and, I mean, you get used to it. Anyways, I, I worked on the ride, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. My job was to make sure everything was in its place in the ride, and uh, sometimes I even operated the ride. You know the people who stand next to the carts of the ride and wave off to people as you see them ride off into the darkness of the ride? <laughs> uh, yeah, that guy. I remember that it all happened on a Saturday. Uh, I don't clearly remember what month or day, so... Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up, had breakfast, and drove my way to the happiest place on Earth. And everything was fine. It was until my lunch break that things got very strange. I had a 30-minute break and decided to walk around the park for a while. When I was near the main gates of the park that led to the exit, I saw a huge crowd coming towards me. In the middle of the crowd, there was a kid holding onto his mother's hand. As they walked past me, I heard the young boy say, I saw him, Mom. You have to believe me. I ignored it, thinking it was the usual... You know, kid seeing something like a prop of the park that made him shit his pants. It was a common incident, so I moved on. As I got to the office that was near the ride that I worked at, I saw one of my colleagues packing up his bag. Hey, man, he said. Good afternoon, man. Uh, say, why are you packing up? Doesn't our shift end at eight? It's barely five, I replied, confused. Yeah, uh, about that. Boss wants park closed early today. He said that we should be out of the park by 5.30. Uh, oh, and ride manager said to give one last stroll around the ride and make sure everything's okay. Uh, do you know why the park's closing so early? Eh, a lot of rumors. Some guests speculate that a kid saw a ghost. Boss says that he just got scared of a prop on one of the rides, he said. Do you know what he truly saw? I think I saw the kid on my way here. Not too sure, though. Don't know, man, and I gotta be honest, I don't really care. I have enough problems of my own at home. Too much stress. Uh, anyways, see you tomorrow, man. He walked out the door. I didn't really think much of it, so I went on and did what the ride manager said to do. I decided to make sure everything was in its place by riding the ride by myself. After all, I was pretty much alone and in charge of the ride at the moment, so I thought to myself, why not? I went over to the counter and started the ride, with a little bit more speed than usual. Kind of a perk, if, if you're alone. <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I hopped on and was on my way. Everything was fine but it wasn't until I passed through the section of the ride where Winnie the Pooh is stuck on the wall of honey where I noticed something odd. On the platform near Pooh, there was a strange small bunker sort of door. It looked like the type of bunker door you would see in a video game, and in these five years that I've worked here, I never noticed this door. Strange. So I jumped out of my little vehicle, which, by the way, is really dangerous, so please don't do it, okay? Anyway, I jumped out and started to examine the door. It was a yellow door, just laying in the floor. It had a big latch on it along with a lock, and on top of the door, it read, Do not open. And, well, that's pretty much it. I ignored it, thinking it was a room only the ride manager and the boss had access to, but as I was turning around and waited for another ride train to pass by so I could jump in it, I suddenly heard a loud bang. I quickly turned around, and in the door 
was two beady eyes. Yellow, round, small ears. I quickly recognized that it was the Winnie the Pooh, and thinking it was one of my colleagues still in costume, I said, Whoa, jeez, okay, no need for such force, man. You might break the door. Uh, anyways, dude, park's about to close. It's actually closing early today, so you can go change. The silence was insanely loud. Around two minutes later, it came out and showed itself entirely. I only stood there in shock, trying to, trying to process what I was seeing. It was Pooh, all right, but he had a mouth with sharp teeth. His mouth was stretched open around two feet long. His red shirt was torn, and its feet... Fuck, its feet were huge, like an actual bear's paw, but deformed. I stood there for what felt like hours, terrified, looking at this thing's beady eyes. Then it spoke before I let my instincts take over. My friends made an appearance today, so... So why shouldn't I? It said in a deep, growling voice. As I stared at this monstrosity in front of me, I saw a ride trade coming my way. I jumped on it as I had the chance, and as I turned the corner to the birthday party scene of the ride, I heard giant, loud footsteps coming from where I came from, followed by a loud bang and a loud growl. As I got to the counter of the ride, I jumped out, turned off the ride, got my things, and ran to the exit. When I got to the gates, I took time to catch my breath before walking to my car. There was nobody around, and the gates were open. My boss then called out from behind me and asked if everything was alright. I said everything was fine. Then he said one last thing before I left and never return to Disneyland again. Things are not what they seem, huh, kid? The happiest place on Earth. Huh. He looked at me and smirked. See you tomorrow, kid. See you tomorrow. The drive back home felt long, thinking and trying to process what the hell I just saw. I wanted it to be a nightmare, but but I knew what I saw. When I got home, I felt sick. I laid in bed, and when I woke up the next day, I called to work telling them that, that I quit. They asked a lot of questions, as usual, but I hung up and went about my day. This was one year ago. And the reason I posted this story is because, well, as I was doing research, let's just say I found a story about, about what the kids saw that day. I compared it to what I saw, and I, I really don't think that it's a coincidence. The words that thing said still send a chill down my spine to this day, so, I mean, please, just be careful out there. I have a lot of questions which are going to be left unanswered, I know, for a long time. I'm just hoping that this story gets out there in time to warn people. Disney has a lot of secrets. Dark, evil, sinister, and mysterious secrets.